Hey guys, Drew here over at Rev Hiker Outdoors. And uh, I'm not gonna make this a long review, but I did want to give you a review of a knife that I've been carrying for a couple weeks now, and I'm really impressed with it. And if you watch my review on the Benchmade 940, I basically said it's the best knife I've ever had, and, and I, I love it, and uh, a lot of people on YouTube agree that it's just, for EDC, man, this thing is awesome. I found one that I like, almost as well uh, it's like a really close second and today I'm not carrying the 940 I'm actually just carrying this and uh, this is the Benchmade North Fork it's the uh, 15031-1 this one has the G10 scales uh, done in S30V and I, I love this thing now before I get into what I like about it I'm gonna say the one thing that I don't and that is the blade profile you can see it has a little bit of a recurve and while it's not like a, a deal breaker it, it does make it a bit of a pain to sharpen and in all reality it doesn't add much usefulness to the blade shape a simple you know drop point clip point would have been fine so anyway that's the only thing i can say about it otherwise typical bench made quality centering is just right uh, flips open real nice now one complaint that I've seen about this is this is in their hunt series. It's not in the blue class. It's not in the black. It's in the hunt series. Uh, and the Apostle P knocked it for having these. For hunting, yeah, the thumb studs can get in the way. However, it's not that big a deal. And, uh, you know, he is right. But I think for what most people are going to use this knife for, which is EDCing it all year round and hunting with it for a few months out of the year Man, what man? What a rocking knife. I mean this thing would be great for hunting. Uh, it's got this little grip here It's not not really grippy, so it's not like but it will kind of give you a reference point of where your finger is um, But I don't know. It, it, it's great. It, I think it'd be great for hunting. I think it's an excellent EDC blade it's a really nice slicer. It is a little bit thick, so it doesn't slice as, as good as maybe some other blades that are full flat ground or anything, but man, this thing rocks. This is like, uh, this, this is one of the best knives I've ever handled. And uh, I'm just gonna go and, and do a little bit of use with it, show you guys I'm gonna uh, break up some firewood and get some, some kindling off of this uh, dead tree and branch back here. And uh, just to kind of demonstrate a little bit of what the blade can do. I'm not going to do any slicing tests. I mean, you know, slicing paper is one thing, but this is the kind of stuff that you might actually use it for when you're hunting, if you need to make a fire, if you're doing camp chores, stuff like that. So I want to give you a realistic review for it. And uh, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a fire in a little bit, but that'll be a separate video. So look out for that one. I'm doing some product testing on uh, some stuff called Clean Flame. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned for that. But as for right now, did a little snowshoeing out here and uh, I'm gonna get me some some tinder and uh, look for the fire in my next video so uh, stay tuned guys uh, for that one but uh, for now here's some uh, actually let's just do this cut this dead branch off and I'll just uh, do some shaving with this and uh, man this thing just just glides through wood really nice and then uh, the little bit of jimping that they did put up on the tip, I, I like to do a lot like this, and uh, comes in really handy for that. Nice little non-slip grip when you're trying to cut things off like that. Um, but I really, really am liking this blade a lot, and I'm carrying it a ton. Um, great for making notches, things like that. And uh, you can, now the one thing, the other disadvantage that, like say over my 940, is there's not quite as much real estate there. So you can sort of get four fingers. If you had a smaller hand, you probably could. I wear a size like XL glove. Uh, but the choil up front, really nice. And uh, the way they indented it, it makes getting to those thumb studs super easy. Uh, obviously, uh, if you've watched the channel, you know I'm a fan of the Axis lock. I think it's it's my favorite lock personally. But uh, 
man, this thing just rips through stuff. So really good for making kindling and, uh, and you can really get some power and reverse grip. Rip this thing apart. Really just cuts through stuff nice and easy. And it's also good for the fine work. So really, really liking this thing. Man, if I was gonna rate this thing, uh, scale of one to 10, I'd give it a nine and a half. And the half point is simply because the recurve is a little bit of a pain to sharpen. Not terrible. If you know what you're doing, you can do it. Just takes a little more time. But great knife. Uh, it is a little beefier than the 940 as far as thickness. Uh, I'd say it's probably uh, maybe 3 sixteenths of an inch thicker. So in some ways it's more comfortable in the hand. It's a little bit shorter for the pinky, but the width of it makes for really nice grip. And uh, nice simple curve back here. It's got a lanyard hole if you choose to carry it that way. Came with the nice arrow clip. I uh, really like this blade. Um, I'm gonna do one more cutting test and then I'm gonna end the review. Uh, this, this is a great blade. It, you know, this is just a, a shorty review, but man, this thing rocks. So uh, one cutting test and then I'll close this out here. Well, I don't know how well it showed up on camera. It was a little far away, but I just jabbed this thing right in there and pounded on the back of it. I uh, love the axis lock. I trust it, obviously, with my fingers. And uh, great blade, nice and stout. And uh, if we can see this, it keeps a lot of its thickness right up to the tip. So it's a nice stout blade. A lot of, a lot of strength in there. You could really do some work um, you know are you really gonna be splitting a sternum on a deer with this uh, it's possible yeah uh, probably better tools for it but if this is the one thing you carry and that's your style of, of field dressing I think you could do it I think it's plenty strong enough and uh, you know if it's not you got the bench made lifetime warranty so anyway guys um, thanks for watching I think this is a great knife again this is the uh, bench made 150 Three one, Let's see if that'll show up. And uh, it is called the North Fork, and this is the Dash One model with the G10. You can also get it in the Diamond Wood scales, which are very nice looking as well. But really, really like this blade. So nine and a half out of ten. Uh, there's a little bit of a field test for you. And uh, have a great day, guys. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, and subscribe, comment. God bless you guys. Have a great day.